Hi. So we have came, finally, we have came to the end of the sand fabric components section. So in this, in this video we will have an overview of all of the components we have learned about in the previous lectures. Okay, to see the big picture of the sand fabric, where it starts and where it ends. And starting from the coming lectures, we will be having three lectures or three videos um, uh, for a hands-on demo on uh, real hardware. So we will examine a server, we will examine a sand switch, a real sand switch, and we will be also examining a, a sand storage. Okay, so this is the big picture of the sand fabric. Okay, you could also call a sand fabric, uh, you could also call a stack of switches sand fabric as well, but these are the, this is the big picture of the sand area network. Okay, starting from your server, where you have your HBA cards installed, okay, connected with um, fiber optic cables to your sand fabric. You could have, you may have a single switch, you may have two switches for high availability. You may have also sand fabric, so you could have multiple sand switches in the same uh, fabric. And the, uh, a, a sand fabric is similar to stacking Ethernet switches, uh, where you could connect your switches to each other to form a bigger logical switch so you could manage all of the ports of the of all of the inter, uh, the switches in a, in a stack or in a in a fabric uh, from a single interface which uh, facilitates um, the management okay and then your sand storage at the end is connected uh, also to your sand switch or your sand switches that according to the architecture and the design that you have okay so the the benefits of using uh, and this is called the multipathing so now you have multipath multipath to your sand storage or to your destination target or targets so you should be using multipath so this is useful for uh, the high availability purposes and for uh, the load balancing, balancing the loads across this path ac according to the configuration that you have. So when it comes to the high availability, so if you lose any of these paths, maybe you may have a failure with your HPA card. Maybe the, the fiber channel uh, cable is broken. Maybe um, your sand switch is broken. Maybe, maybe it got rebooted for any reason. Okay, uh, you may also have an issue on the other end with the with the sand storage, or the connectivity between the sand storage and your sand switch. So if this happens, you will be losing the connectivity on that path. So you need to have another path to have a higher higher availability for your data and to assure uh, the highest accessibility for your server to make it able to access the storage anytime around the clock without any disruptions to have your applications always up and running around the clock. Let's have another view and this picture actually is more representative so we have zoomed out now a bit. So here are your clients you need to access an application as you can see uh, your servers are connected with two cables here to each of your sand switches or the sand fabrics in this case. And the same for the sand devices. So the sand storage here is also connected with two cables or this is just the, the minimum. You could have more cables with a mesh, uh, with a mesh type, but this is out of our scope now. Uh, the tape library could also be connected to multiple many or two or more paths like this one and also the same for that sand storage okay um, you could have zones have zoning here now great so 
this is how it should look like in your data center. Great, so that's it for the theories behind the sand fabric and let's get our hands dirty a bit and let's go, let's move forward and have a demo coming up in the next video. So thank you very much and I hope it's been informative. Goodbye.